Hello everyone, welcome to my bathroom. I hope you're all good, you've had a great weekend. So we are on Makeover Mondays today and I was honestly a little bit stuck on what to do today. I was like, I haven't done a bit of makeup in a while, like proper full on looks. And I saw a few comments under my previous video being like, oh, you should do like a curling hair video. Haven't done one in over a year. Um, but I've got something a lot more fun. You know, you guys are in for a treat. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I really hope you enjoy it. And if you hit that subscribe button, join the Annie fam, I would really, really appreciate it. Oh my God, let me show you this cute brooch I got yesterday. Like how cute is that? Can you see it? No. Now, I'm not usually a brooch person. I'm like, I kind of, I used to think they were like really granny brooches. Yeah, but I went to an antique shop yesterday. I love going to antique shops, like seeing all the jewelry. I'm really into kind of stuff like that. And um, I saw this cute little brooch and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I clipped it onto my top, but I cannot stop clipping it onto all my cute little frilly tops. It just looks cute. Anyway, as you can see in the title of this video, it is all about fake tan. Well, not all about fake tan, all about removing the fake tan. Now, I've kind of got my usual go-to method. I mean, I am the fake tan queen, you know? I fake tan all the time. I never go out with fake tan. I just love being tanned. It makes me confident, it makes me feel good, it makes me happy, you know? So yeah, I love to fake tan. I've got so many faves, like different brands, and I'm gonna do a video like that, kind of more into the summer, um, regarding like my favorite tans, and I've got different tans for like different occasions. Like if I wanna go out in the town, like quick notice, like really short notice, I use a tan that like develops quickly, or if I like have a little bit of a natural tan, I use a certain tan on top. So I've got a few different faves. So I'll I'll do a video on that but yes we are all about removing the tan today now do you know what I was honestly like do I do this video today because I really like my tan right now and I was like oh, I don't want to take it all off <laughs> So you better appreciate this. <laughs> yeah, my go-to is getting in the shower. Do you know what? I haven't had a bath in a long time. I know, it sounds disgusting. I had a shower last night. I'm a shower gal. I love a bath, but I'm always in a rush doing something. I love to keep busy, so I'm always, I always use showers mainly. And when I'm in the shower, I use an exfoliating sponge. I literally get from Home Bargains for like 99p. Hello. But yeah, I really don't use anything else. You know, I just use that sponge. Um, or a glove as well, an exfoliating glove, and yeah, the tan just kind of comes off. I like to keep moisturized, so yeah, that's kind of like my go to taking tan off until I came across this. I was on Instagram just scrolling, doing my thing, and I came across a brand called Rose and Caramel. So, what this is is the world's first self tan removing bubble bath. I was like. What is the sorcery? I need to try it. So yeah, this is not sponsored at all. I just had to get my hands on it. I really want to try it out for you guys. I thought it'd be a fun video. Let's get into like fun testing review videos with makeup and more beauty things. I do a lot of um, reviews for fashion hauls, but I don't usually do much for beauty. So let's get into this and turn it into a fun channel. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to have a bubble bath on camera for you guys. So I'm just gonna read out what it says on here. It says, Purity is the world's first self-tan removing bubble bath created to take the hassle and mess out of self-tan removal. This gentle solution is color, perfume, and alcohol free suitable for all skin types. Um, which is great because I do have sensitive skin, you know, you guys know about my eczema and things like that. I do get a little bit nervous when I try new things. So I thought, Let's just do it on camera. <laughs> Pour approximately 50 ml under running water. Instantly your bath will foam up, relax and soak for 20 minutes and then gently buff away your self tan with exfoliating mitts. So I was like, that's what I do anyway, but it does say gently and I have to say when I'm in the shower, I'm literally like, oh, oh, like <laughs> on my body. So if I've got something to kind of soak it away, so I'm literally just kind of gently excited to myself, I guess that's like easier. So yeah, let's just give it a roll. I'm actually excited to see if it's gonna work or not. I don't know what 50 mils is. It literally doesn't smell of anything and I do like a nice bomb bath to smell good. I don't even know if I need to be strict on the whole 50 ml measurement that they recommend. So... <laughs> it's like phlegm. I thought it was going to be like thin. <laughs> Is bubble bath this thick? I honestly have had a bubble bath in so long. 
long and tired, but you know. Happy to say. This is the stuff going in. Okay, so it's getting a little bit more bubbly. I will show you before I get in what it looks like. But um, yeah, so yeah, it doesn't really smell of anything. I am really interested to see if this works. So yes, I mean, let's get naked. Here we go. I'm in a towel. I'm ready. I think. The bath is just about done and it's a lot more bubbly than it was earlier because I'm scared it's going to be bubbly. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. So let's see if this works. I'm going to show you what the bath looks like and then I'm going to pop the camera back up and then just, you know, zoom in on bits and bobs. Not those bits and bobs, but you know what I mean? I actually have high expectations. I'm really buzzed about this. I feel like if this actually works, it's kind of a big deal. Do you know what I mean? So. Uh, hand bun so that is what it looks like it's a lot more buckly than it was before i'm going to give it a little swirl hop in and um yeah that is the exfoliating glove that i'm going to use as well Yay! okay so my skin is not itchy which is good um feels like a normal bubble bath which is good I'm trying not to show my boobs <laughs> yeah it says to soak in the bath for 20 minutes and then to exfoliate so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, the time now is 12.25. <gasps> Let's say I got in at like 20 past, quarter past. So yeah, I've got like until 40 and then I'll start scrubbing myself and we will see the real tea. The only thing I'm noticing about this is that I think it's coming off more even and not like as patchy as it would when I'm in the shower scrubbing it. But um, yeah, I'm going to hop back in the bath because I'm kind of struggling doing it here, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm going to go hop back in the bath and finish this off and I will be back with a fin- wow, okay, yeah, that's coming off really well. I'm actually going to zoom you guys in. It is actually coming off pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Like, usually when I'm scrubbing my body, I feel like only a few layers come off, but I can see that is right down to my pale skin. So, yeah, okay, I'm going to finish this off in the shower. So what I've done is I have left most of this arm, the colour. It was, you can see the difference, it's crazy. Um, and I have done this. Now, I'm actually, oh my gosh, I actually think that sounds that... Hey y'all! The difference of this arm <laughs> compared to this arm. Oh my gosh, I actually had no idea I, would, I had that much tan on. I think when I exfoliate with a, um, a sponge in the shower, it exfoliates all the patchy kind of top layers, but it doesn't properly go down to my skin. I feel like this really has. So I feel like this would be great to use like once a month, once every few months. If you feel like your tan, if you've used so many layers of tan that you feel like you just haven't properly clean your skin so if you want to like proper cleanse your skin this stuff is great but what I am going to say is I'm not going to use it every time I need to exfoliate because I do feel like I scrubbed the same amount like than usual like I didn't just gently like do that with my exfoliation I do I did you know I did have to rub guys I just checked on the rose and caramel website and the purity self tan removing bubble bath and you get exfoliation gloves with it is £22.9 that's actually really good um, I couldn't remember how much it was, um, but I don't know why in my head I kind of it, like remembered it being like 40 quid or something. But 29 that is, I actually think that's worth it. Like that is really good considering how pricey other things are these days. But yeah, they do a whole bunch of like tans and things like that. So yeah, go check them out. No joke, I actually hate how pale I <laughs> Also, I feel like once you are used to seeing yourself tanned all the time, when you actually try and go like naturally pale, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't suit me. So yeah, I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Friday, and I hope you have a great week. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you hit the subscribe button, join the Annie fam, and of course hit the notification button so you are the first to know when I post. I hope you have a great week, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, I don't even know what that was. That was like a... Bye! Bye! <laughs> I'm just gonna wave. <laughs> See you later.